Whoa. <laughs> and welcome back everybody. This is Silent Mist and this is Dragon Quest. And we are at Salabona and last time we were not. Um, what I did between videos was I leveled up a little bit. Because from what I remember, what I'm doing next is actually pretty tough. Um, what in the hell? As soon as I push record, I'm popular. Um, okay, but like I was saying, um, I don't think I got anything new. Uh, last episode, we got the, uh, Zenithian helmet, which is cool. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So, why are we here, you might ask? And if you've played it, you probably aren't asking, but if you haven't, why are we here? Well, let's go find out. We are here because Ludman seems to be having a problem. What is this problem, though? I'm not sure. Let's go find him and ask him. Hey there. Oh, she just welcomes us. Not really concerned about what he's doing. Oh. What do you gotta say, Queenie? Oh yes, we've come back. Hmm, alright. Well, let's go see what he has to say then. Ancient jar. So he wants us to go to a shrine and find out what color a jar is. And, yeah, so we gotta figure out if it's red. If it's red, that's bad. If it's not, then we're all saved. So what color do you think it is, everybody? But before we go there, <laughs> let's go talk to these guys. Hey, she looks familiar, and so does he. It's Andy. And... Well, let's not mention her. <laughs> ah. And his wife, Flora... So Andy and Flora ended up together, married, and happy. She's been living happy with Andy ever since Blush. Well, I don't know what Blush is, but ever since Blush, she's been happy. Or, no, I don't know. I probably read that wrong. <laughs> um, but they're both um, concerned. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Concerned about... Bloodman. So pretty much this whole town just wants us to figure out what color a jar is. <sighs> Seems easy. So let's go do that. Now this part is actually pretty tough from what I recall. Um, so make sure you got your A game. Uh, let's go on up here and see this jar. Uh, these are boss garms and eliminators. I don't know if we've seen them. We probably have. But these same enemies can be found next to Elhaben, Elaban, Elahalaloba. Um, it's actually Elhaven, but translations made it Elahalaloban. So yeah, and this red door here is a magic key door. So if you do not have the magic key, you cannot do this. Therefore, go get it. There are also magic key doors throughout the world. Like, I think there's one in Port Selmy and uh, a bunch of places. Most, it's pretty much just treasure. Uh, 
Some of it's okay, but most of it's not. It's not worth it, and I'm not going to go get it. But here it is, the red jar. So, it's red. That sucks. And I made that out to be a lot harder than it really was. So, screw what I said. That was easy. Let's go back. Whoops. <laughs> so let's go down and tell Ludman that he is crazy. And I think these guys are way old enemies that we've seen way long ago. But they're also way easy, so I'm not going to cut it. Sorry. So let's get back in here. Ludman has been waiting for you at the Tower of Viewing. Oh, well, let's leave and go straight there, then. And actually, that's a lie. I want to go to the inn first. <clears throat> Just because... That... Finding out what color that jar was was hard, and, you know, I want to be rested up for going to tell Ludman all about it. Alright, so let's continue and go talk to him. He's in the viewing tower, which is right next door, of course. So here we are. <laughs> let's go upstairs and see what he has to say. Mm, he's not psychic. You can tell by my face. I thought he was psychic. <clears throat> well, you know what? Before we finish this, I will be right, right back. Alright, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. So, he conquered something, blah blah blah, jars. Okay. So he's gonna go get ready for batter and battle, and we're gonna stand here. And we're gonna fight this tiny little enemy. Shh. Uh, he's gonna be easy, I'm sure. Oh gosh, he's getting bigger. Oh gosh, he's getting bigger. Oh my gosh, he's bigger than the tower. And that was a hell of a good nap. Ooh. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is not here today. Chicken wusses. Hmm. So, Final Fantasy VIII was not the first to say that. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> this guy's actually tough. We're gonna fight. We're going to... Increase. We're going to... Decrease. And then we are going to fight, and we are going to increase again if possible, and decrease again if possible. And now we're going to fight, and hopefully not die. And shit, we'll try to decrease one more time. I knew he was going to die. Yeah, I didn't think that would work again. Alright. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but... Vivify is awful. God damn it. <laughs> Vivify is still awful. Um... And... What the hell is Farewell? Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I, I obviously haven't played this much. Um, Adam actually, one of the reasons I leveled up off screen is because Adam learned Revive, which is actually a lot better. It costs a lot, though. 
But uh, I'm pretty sure it's 100%. So, and it heals them a lot. So, or fully, I think. Whatever. Either way, it's awesome. And we're just gonna try and... I don't know what her best spell is. I'm just gonna keep using Snow Blast. It sounds awesome. And every, every time he uses Upper, we are going to counter with a Decrease. And... Pretty much Adam is going to be spending most of his time healing. And Miss is going to be doing all the attacking. That's basically how I do this fight anyways. How much is heal all? Okay. I'll have him fight around. Decrease again. If he keeps doing upper, that's going to make this battle awesome. Okay, I'm probably going to cut out most of that fight. It took forever. Um, I just did exactly what I showed at the beginning. Um, increase, decrease right away. And then Adam's the main healer. Uh, Kim will be your decrease anytime he uses upper. And Mist is doing most of the fighting, unless Adam runs out of MP, or which he did in my case, or um, if somebody dies like Adam. So, yeah, it's <laughs> it's a very tough fight. Um, I didn't. It, it wasn't too hard. He did kill me at the beginning, kind of caught me off guard, but usually he doesn't. Um, at my levels. And you get the final key for killing him. And I have to cut this. Because I have a stupid time limit. So I will see everybody later. Bye-bye.